we're going to round money to the nearest dollar, the nearest whole dollar. So basically, I have $3.48 here. I want to figure out which whole dollar I'm closest to. So it's either going to be $3 or it's going to be $4. Because this here is my dollars. Anything to the left of the decimal point will be our dollars. Anything to the right of the decimal point will be my cents. And when I give an answer, that answer is going to be something dollars and no cents because I'm rounding to the nearest dollar. So there won't be any cents in my answer. So just like when we rounded before, there was one part we underlined. I'm going to underline everything to the left of the decimal point. I'm going to underline the dollars. And just like before, the underlined part is either going to stay the same or it's going to go up. So in this case, our 3 can either stay a 3 or it can go up to a 4. So but basically my two answer choices are going to be $3 or $4. Now, if in the cents portion of our, our money amount, if that is above 50 cents, and I'll circle this, if that's above 50 cents, the underlined part goes up 1. If it's below 50 cents, the underlined part stays the same. So the circled part of the problem is the boss of the underlined part. The underlined part doesn't know what it's supposed to do. The circled part will tell it. So the circled part, in this case, is less than 50 cents. So the 3 will stay a 3. So my, my $3.48 rounded to the nearest dollar <coughs> is $3. Now, this next one down here, $18.61, same exact thing. I'm going to underline all that. I'm going to underline all my dollars, and I'm going to circle all my cents. Now this dollar amount will either stay the same, or it will go up one. So it'll either be a 19 or an 18. And it really doesn't matter which side you put those numbers on. You can do either, either which way. You can say 18 on this side, 19 on that side. Just so you know that that number there is either going to stay an 18 or a 19. Once again, the circled digit will tell us what we need to do. If the circled, I should say digits, if the circled cents is above a 50, so if there's more than 50 cents, the underlined portion will go up. So since this 61 is more than 50 cents, then the 18 is going to become a 19. So $18.61 is rounded to $19. And next one here, $9.32, underline the dollars, circle the change, <clears throat> the 9 will either stay a 9 or go up to a 10, and the circled portion of this will tell that underlined, uh, the underlined dollar amount if it's staying the same or going up. If the circled portion is less than 50 cents, it stays the same. So that 9 is going to stay a 9. Now our underlined digits never ever go down. It'll either stay exactly the same or go up by one. So 25, underline the dollar amount, circle the coins, circle the change amount. 25 will either stay at 25 or it will go up to a 26. 74 cents is larger than 50 cents, so it is going to go up to 26. So this is 26. So $25.74 rounds up to $26. <clears throat> so remember, Underline the dollar amount, circle the coin amount. The dollar amount will either stay the same or go up one. If the circled amount is more than 50 cents, the dollar amount will go up. If the circled amount is less than 50 cents, the dollar amount will stay the same.